Hello and welcome to Do Yoga With Me's Yoga Explained. My name is David Procession. I'm the founder of Do Yoga With Me. Today we're talking about loops. And loops, this concept of loops, if you haven't heard it before, it can be applied to pretty much every pose. Today I'm going to introduce it just with my arms and legs, because that's pretty much where it happens in couple of different poses, just as ideas, and then I'm gonna move into warrior two and show you how it applies to warrior two. Okay, so let's just say you're in downward facing dog. Your arms are forward, okay? And you want to position your arms so that anatomically the alignment is ideal and the weight distribution feels good in your hands. And the connection to the upper back also feels stable, okay? So the idea is, you can lower your arms down. You want the upper arms to rotate out. What does this pose look like? Mountain pose, right? And you want the lower limbs to rotate in. Downward dog, right? Okay, let's do that again. So uh, what I want you to do is to always connect the limbs to the torso and the arms connect to the upper back. So you feel that stability in your shoulder blades, legs connect into the hips. Okay, so let's do that again, rotate out. And now without losing that rotation out, rotate the lower arms, or the, sorry, the, the arm, the forearms <laughs> in, so the palms face back. Everything rotates out, keep that, and just rotate the, the forearms in. Okay, so that is your downward dog. So if you can imagine your arms, are, I'm not gonna raise my arms way up, but your arms are like this, you're connecting to the shoulder blades, you're rotating the upper arms out, keeping that, and then turning your palms down and rooting the four corners of the hands. Okay, so step your feet apart. Starting with the upper body. You've probably heard teachers say, when your arms are out like this, turn your palms up. Okay, so that's the same thing. So when you're in warrior one or warrior two, you rotate from here, you rotate out, connect to the shoulder blades, and then keeping that rotation out of your upper arms, you turn the forearms in, or you turn your palms down, okay? So that is a loop. So if you run the loop from your shoulder blade under the armpit and out, the direction of energy is what you wanna do with your arms. So it's rotating into the outward, up to the elbow, and then the loop changes. It rotates in to the wrist. So loop, 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 loop. Okay, now the lower body, before I even turn one of my feet out to create warrior two pose, I'm gonna create the loop in my leg. So you start with your sitting bone. So let's say this is gonna be the bent knee. You start with a sitting bone, the loop goes under the butt to the inner thigh, and then all the way out to the outer knee. Okay, and so that is, if you can imagine a rope attaching to your sitting bone running underneath and you tug the rope, that rotates the thigh out. Okay, so I'm gonna turn that foot out. So it pulls the sitting bone under and it rotates the thigh out to the knee. Okay, and now you wanna counteract that to create the stability. You want the rotation to happen the other way in the lower leg. So the loop goes from the knee under the calf on the inside, and then it connects to the big toe. So you rotate it in, out, in, out, in, okay? So I want you to see if you can feel that. So move into your warrior one, and start from the sitting bone, pull on the rope, and then rotate the thigh out, and then the lower leg, rotate it in, and root the four corners of the foot. So the way, the reason why we work with 
The reason why loops can work so well is that it better describes the action in the limbs. Often what we say is we push the thigh out and root into the four corners of the feet. So, and tuck the tailbone under. So it's, it's just more of an accurate description. Getting that rotation really feels right. It feels like it's opening up the body more and creating more stability. Okay, and so the back leg, do the same thing. Sitting bone, pull on the rope, pull it under, and then pull the thigh bone out so it lifts the knee, and then rotate in, and then connect to the, to the foot, rooting the four corners of that foot down. Okay, and so see if you can feel that in the legs. Loop, 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 loop. Okay, let's go to the other side. Arms, loop, 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 bend, and keep that stability right down into the four corners of the feet. Notice how often the cue is press the thighs out Notice how the loop adds that element of the tailbone tucking under and opening the thighs out down into the knees. Okay. Feel free to practice that as much as you want. I hope the concept of the loops makes sense and it helps you in your practice. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next Yoga Explained episode. Feel free to add comments, ask questions in the comments area. Take care.